Okay, welcome back. Another quick how-to. I'm going to go over how to install the flex plate on your 302 or 351 small block Ford. Uh, there's only really a couple things to, you need to pay attention to. I'm going to point out the subtle details. Um, the first one being, uh, if you've gone from a, T, you know, from a T5 and you're going back to an AOD, make sure you pull out the pilot bearing. Otherwise, you'll not be able to get the torque converter to fit inside this hole. Uh, the other thing to pay attention to, uh, this is often discussed, but if you have a 302, your crank, the holes here, will go all the way through. So I would be able to stick this through. So they are actually, it's an open hole. On a 351 Windsor, uh, and the crank for that, so these are blind holes, so I can't push these through, okay? So what it calls for, there's actually, and I will somewhere on the screen here, and I'll kind of pause here a little bit so you can see there's actually a part number that's called out in the actual Ford manual. Uh, but this is actually, like if you go to National Parts Depot, you, basically what you want is a high temperature sealant. So I'm using the Permatex, Loctite makes an equivalent, you know, Ford, I'm sure, has either the current or a different part number. Uh, the only reason I'm using this, the only reason I need to do this, is because it's not going to seal the oil. I don't have to worry about oil leaking back. But, you know, this does uh, apparently keep the bolts and in, inside the crank from corroding or galling. So no harm in using it, but it's the same as, you know, as if I was doing a 302. The difference is it doesn't actually seal anything. But on a 302, it is actually critical if you don't do that. Uh, you could get seepage through there. Uh, so the other thing just to note, this is your rear main, rear main seal. So this is obviously a leak point uh, along here as well as your oil pan. Uh, for some reason, if your oil pan is not in uh, the oil pan gasket or whatever. So anyway, it just gives you a look at it, what it looks like if you're not familiar with it. So another thing to take into account is your bolts. So I'm using the Ford Racing ARP, also sells flex plate bolts because I'm using an AOD, obviously. Uh, if you are going from an AOD to a T5, you cannot reuse these bolts from an AOD. You need to get the longer flywheel bolt. So make sure you, you know, that's actually a safety issue. Make absolutely sure that you use the right bolts. Uh, if you're going the other way, you should be okay. So then the other thing to be aware of, so we've, our, we've got our sealer on our bolts. And then probably the biggest thing is do not forget so you got a couple things. You got a couple. Uh, these are the little pins. You want to make sure you install these. And then this plate. It's so easy to want to get going. And as you get going, to forget to do this. So if you go ahead and install this, uh, by the time you go to put your starter in and all that, you'll quickly realize that you forgot this plate. Do not forget this. Okay. In terms of your flex plate. Uh, things to be aware of. So this is a 164 tooth. Uh, they make a Ford also uses a uh, 157 tooth. Biggest thing to note is the depth of this really does matter. So like if you have a C6, I believe the C6 is a deeper uh, is a deeper flex plate, which will push the torque converter back too far. Um, so anyways, the only thing I would just recommend is make sure you understand what flex plate you're using. There are differences. When you're putting in your flex plate, it can only go on one way. So once you get these started, and I'm going to go ahead and start these by hand. One by one. Now, to speed things along, I've, put, I've started everything by hand. Uh, these bolts use a three-quarter or a 19 millimeter. I'm not going to actually cinch them down. I'm just going to go ahead and whip these around just to speed things along. Okay, so the torque spec for these is 75 to 85 foot-pounds. So we'll target about 80 foot-pounds. We're going to go ahead and torque it down. Uh, I'll go ahead and take care of that. You don't need to sit here and watch me do that. I'm going to be doing that right after this. Okay, so this is pretty close to the bottom. Once I get it closed, it just gives me a target So, because I'll have the torque converter with the drain bolt down at the bottom. So this part, guys, um, obviously I'm going to go back and torque these. 
to about 80 foot pounds uh, but with that said uh, pretty easy job hope this helped you out thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one